Hey folks, here we go. Now I think I'm not muted. Now you can hear me. Welcome and so nice to see you on a Sunday in January. I guess this is already the third Sunday in January. Wow. So I'm Sandy O from Emma's Revolution. So glad you're here. Uh, Pat will be with us shortly, but as you can tell, we're not in our usual space. We don't have that lovely hanging of the farm workers. Um, Pat and I are in New York with a friend of ours who's in home hospice and anyone who's done that kind of uh, had that kind of experience in life, and it is, it is a life experience. Um, knows that that it's a tender time. Uh, so we have asked a friend of ours to come in and lead today, so that you get some joyful music, and we'll get some joyful music singing along. Um, but before I turn it over to our wonderful guest, I do want to say thanks to our team. We've got Toby there playing that video, and Rod is here, and Moria, and Paula, and Alice, and Marcy. And that team has kept us going for so long that we're able to do this kind of uh, event from the road um, with ease and with all the care that that these folks have been uh, giving to us for all of this time. So welcome, and we're so glad you're here. If you're watching on Facebook Live, we invite you to join us here in Zoom if you'd like. There's a link in the comments. And uh, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, we're also glad to meet you. Glad you're here to learn a song from our fantastic guest of the day. Now you've seen this fabulous performer, singer, songwriter, and uh, just a wonderful human being um, and an activist. You've seen her here on our program, but you've also seen her just lots of places singing. Maggie Wheeler's um, events online during this time. She's a vocal activist. She puts her songs and her voice to use for justice, and she's bringing us some love today. So please welcome Melanie Demore. Hey there. Hey. How hey. you doing, fam? It's good to see you, Sandy. And it's so... Radha! I, always... <laughs> I love me some Radha. What are you going to do? It is what it is. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for coming to help us out and join us. And oh, absolutely. You know, I got, I got you. I got you. I, I got know. Emma's grab right here, baby. Right Likewise, here. we've got you, and can't wait to see you in person someday when that's oh, possible. Oh yeah, it'll be great, won't it? Yeah, let's could, do it. Actually, breathe the same air. I know. So thanks yeah. for being here, and I'll let you take it over. Yeah. So I thought that um, we're gonna do a couple of different things, and um, uh, this song called Every Breath Every Day. Now I've got it up on the fourth fret and uh, since I've never tried to teach this song before but I felt like it was really good for us to have, um, I, I try to write songs that are the medicine that I need and this is one of those, one of those ones. Here's the progression, it's on the fourth fret, E chord, you may recognize this progression. And that's basically it. But, you, but the, the whole feeling of this, we'll sing it a few times and then maybe I'll do something else so you can learn how to play it. But well, let's sing it. And the whole idea is for you to get your shui on. That means you got to move something. And it's really good when singing this to smile a little because we need to do more of that. This is one of those songs that is definitely one of these and not one of those. It's, a, it's definitely a yes song. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You feel me? Excellent. So here the words are very simple. It's this. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. That's it. Every breath, every day, Every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Now, you want to savor every one of those words. And when you get to the part that says, I am here, it's always good to nod your head. Here we go. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, 
every prayer, every song I am here. Okay, now don't be afraid to get your sway on. Whether you're sitting, lying down, or just, you know, just the inside, you see yourself swaying along with the wind that blows in the trees, and everything is good, and you are here. Sometimes we don't feel like we're anywhere, but if we, every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Now, if you decided that you needed to have a little harmony, here's how it goes. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. And sometimes we have to do it again. We have to go every day, every breath, every prayer, every song, I am Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Couple more times. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am here. Every breath, every day, every prayer, every song, I am Every breath, every day. I mean, and everything that we're dealing with, family, these days is all about the breath. Everything. Everything. It's all about that. It's all about, you know, us being conscious and aware of breathing in and breathing out. Those that are having a problem breathing in, breathing out, we cannot healthily breathe the same air with each other, so our breath... And I like to think of every time the inhale, outhale, that it's, a, it's some kind of prayer, some kind of acknowledgement that we are connected. Y'all feel me? Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now, um, I'm just going to roll on here. Is that okay there, uh, Sandy? Okay. Um, somebody asked me about... you. I don't know if any of you have heard my arrangement of Swing Low. And so I would like, the chords are very simple, but the trick about this, and one of the things is that we, we tend to sometimes want to stay very regimented in what we do, but the chords to this is very meditative. So you're starting on a G, a G chord, and I, and I use, uh, I have, I use a G with the modified at the top, so you have the little finger and then the, and then I leave my top two fingers here in the same place, and then I do a C chord, and then I just move that whole thing up to the, to the, uh, like this. Uh, I've never taught like this before, so San Diego, if you have to help a sister, that's all right, I don't mind. You're so awesome, there, you're I, moving it up to a D chord. That's awesome. Yes. That is the whole pattern. The trick is not to rush. You want it to be, when I was singing at the bedside of my little sister, this arrangement came to me. And one of the things about, about it is that it's not rhythmically predictable. So when you're working on a song or something, understand, I remember I was teaching one of my 
kids who is now 45. Started teaching when she was 11. And she says to me, well, Melanie, um, I know they have to rhyme. And I go, no. She said, yeah, but it has to have this, that. And I said, no. She said, wait, wait, wait. Then it must be this. I said, no, baby, it just has to be true to you. Nod your head. Nod it. That's good. And so this is just... And I would stand by at my sister's, at the foot of her bed. And I knew that she loved spiritual. She was my little sister. And I would start, this is Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. So you have the first part. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Coming for to carry me home, swing low, sweet chariot. Come and carry me home. So what I do there is just what we call in the African American tradition is we line out the song the way that it's generally sung. And then when I go to the chorus, I do it slightly differently. I do this. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? So I'll leave out that other part, right? The of angels coming after me. Now on this, from now on on the chorus, I do this. I don't know how to explain how to do it, but you'll feel it. Swing low, sweet cherry come and carry me home. Swing low. Carry on, come and carry me home. The idea is for there to be space. Space to breathe, to really be able to experience what the song is really about. When you get there, there'll be no pain. And Mama will be there calling your name. Swing low, sweet Oh, 
to really take your time and to kind of try to break out of the rules that you have in your head about writing a song or learning a song and putting yourself in the center of what it is that, that, that you're doing. I mean, a lot of my songs, people sing them all over the world. Who knew? Some of them have two lines. Two lines. And they don't rhyme. But they seem to rhyme in people's spirit and in their heart. And I kind of approach every song, no matter what it is, as some kind of form of, of prayer, of prayer in the, in the Allah, in the Krishna, in the Jesus, in the Kuan Yin, in the Yemaya, all of that. Because you see, folks, I like to, I, I'm one of these people that likes to include all the major and minor deities and not leave anybody out, because after all, we need all the help we can get. You know what I'm saying? I know, it's crazy, but I, I wanted to spend a little time, if Sandy doesn't mind, I thought probably on this, you probably haven't learned very much body percussion. I'm going to help to turn you into rhythm monsters. Uh, for 21 years at St. Paul's School, I taught a cappella singing and body percussion. Sixth graders, just, just try and picture it in your mind. And for a long time, I conducted the community children's choir, which today would be the day we, uh, we would do our big Martin Luther King concert. 428 first, second, and third graders. Just go ahead, just, just, yeah. Yeah. A lot of little kids. But, um, so I would teach them things. So what, I'm gonna teach you this. Now, first of all, um, I want you, I, 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 put your hands up like this, okay? Put your hands up like this. Middle fingers out, middle fingers down like this. On your shoulder here, if you know ASL, this is the sign, do this, for not my problem. So it's like you're flicking off things. So now what I'm saying is that calm down. You'll fit, ain't no thing but a chicken wing family, it's okay. You give yourself, so when you feel like you're, like you're, you're, you're carrying something that's just, you shouldn't, that ain't yours, which is most things. Not my problem, off my shoulder. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, okay? So one of the things you got to do is give yourself time and space to learn. Okay? Nod your head. Let me see you. Nod your head. Okay. 
Very good. Now, so I'll show you and then we'll break it down. Now, this is a hip hop body rhythm. It's okay. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing family. Ain't no thing. Just calm down. Now, when you do this, once you learn this, you can make anything funky. For instance, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. You can turn anything funky. Like, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little to lamb, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Okay? All right. You always got to break it down. In body percussion, this is your snare drum. That's your snare drum. This is your cymbal. This is your bass drum. Now, don't hit so hard to leave a mark. Okay? This is your kibasa. You know, you know the thing with the stick on it with the little beads that go ch ch, -ch. That's what this is. Now, the thing that's incredible about body percussion is this. So if I'm going to show you, I'm just going to do a kibasa thing. And what changes is where I put the accent. My main rhythm is this. You can hear that. So now I'll do with you what I do with my students. If I do this, that means watch, don't do. You know what I'm saying? And then for, the, for my sixth graders, I would also have another one that I would take my hands and pat it on the back of my legs, which means sit on your hands. Watch, don't do. And if you find this, because we always want to do before we know. All right. So if I see that and I... You hear that? That means sit on your hands, people. So I'm going to show how the thing, one of the things about body percussion is that your main thing is this. You can hear that. Now, if you... Just like my kids say, Mr. Moore, how can you see it? Because I have, I'm magic, okay? And I can see you. Okay. Now, so it's about accents. So your main thing is this. Now, if I change the accent, Carolyn, Carolyn, watch the, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's so tempting. Laurie, watch don't do, honey. See, I'm just changing the accent. Then, so you have a whole thing that you can do there. Now I know some of you want to do it. Let's go, everybody. Here we go. Put your accents where you wanted to. But one, two, accent. One, two. So accent where you want, and get your body into it. Okay, now. All right, excellent. So we're going to break this down. Remember, this is your bass drum, snare drum, cymbal, kibasa. Now, watch, don't do. Here's the first one. So you, so I, and we're also going to say it out loud. Left, clap, left. If you can say it, you can play it. Left, clap, left. Here we go. Go. Left, clap, left. Two more times. Left. Clap left, one more time, three more, two more times. Left, clap left, one more time. Left, clap left. And you see, I'm going to teach it to you in the same rhythm that you're going to smack it, okay? So, and if you can say it, you can play it. Let's do that three more times in a row. Here we go. Left, clap left, two more times. Left, clap left, one more time. Left, clap left. One, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. Let's try it. One, two, three, say it out loud. 
Just say it out loud. One, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. And make sure you can hear that. One, two, three, snap. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Let's try it. Say it out loud. Here we go. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Again. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Again. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. And with body percussion, you keep your hands close to your body. Because if it's too far out here, you ain't going to be funky. You're going to be flaky. Okay? So you want to keep that, your hands, everything close to your body. Left, right, left. Don't hit so hard. Left, right, left. Let's try it. Here we go. And left, right, left. Two more times. Left, right, left. One more time. Left, right, left. Excellent. Shake your hands up. Shake it. Excellent. Left, clap, left. What? Maria? Watch, don't do, honey. Okay. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. I'll do it again. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Now, let's try it. Say it out loud. Annoy the people in your room, in, in your house there. Say it loud so you know. Here we go. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, Snap, left, right, left. Let's do it again. And give yourself time to learn. It's okay. Relax. Go easy on yourself. Left, clap, left. One, two, three. Snap, left, right, left. Two more times. Left, clap, left. One, two, three. Snap, left, right, left. One more time. Left, clap. Left, one, two, three, snap, left, right, left. Now, this one is clap, slide, snap. And the snap is down below your knee. Okay? Remember I was talking about how you want it to be funky and not flaky? If you snap uh, above your knee, it's going to come too soon. And, you know, only, only croissants should be flaky. Okay? All right. You want to be funky at all times. Excellent. So that is clap, slide, snap. And you kind of got a little eh, a little eh, it's there. Clap, slide, snap. And get the slide real greasy. Right from, you know, starting on the right, all the way to, to the lips. Bam! Right across the same sink as bam! Clap, slide, snap. Slide. I love that part. And the little kids are, Mr. Moore, we like that one. Clap, slide, snap. I go, yeah, that, that's good. Can we do that one again? Yes. Clap, slide, snap. So cute. Lots of little kids clapping and sliding and slapping. They're so cute. Now, I'm just checking. <laughs> left, uh, left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap, left, right, left, clap, slide, snap. I'll do it again. Left, clap, left, one, Nancy, hang on, honey. I, I know, and Carolyn, wait. You know what? I can see the five year olds in, in, in all of you. You know, like that. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap, left, right, left, clap, slide, snap. Let's try it, say it out loud, and really get into the slide, snap. Here we go. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap, left, right, left, clap, slide, snap. Again, left, clap, left, one, two, three, Snap, left, right, left, 
clap, slide, snap. And that family is this. It's the whole thing. All you got to do is practice. That's the whole thing. Break it down into four little chunks. The first chunk is left, clap, left. Second chunk, one, two, three, snap. Third chunk, left, right, left. Fourth chunk, clap, slide, snap. That's it. You just got to break the stuff down. Nod your head. And I begin from the assumption that I know you can do this. You may not, but I know you can. So let's say, let's do it again. Let's practice two times going from step one to step two. So you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to do step one to step two so you can see how it all goes. You ready? Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap. Two more times. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap. One more time. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap. Now we're going to go from two to three. One, two, three, snap, left, right, left. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three, snap, left, right, left. Two more times. One, two, three, snap, left, right, left. One more time. One, two, three, snap, left, right, left. Excellent. From three to four. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Here we go. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Two more times. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Three times, everything all together. We got this. Are you ready? Let me see it. Yes, here we go. We're ready. We're funky. We're bad to the bone. We are so sharp, we're bleeding. We are greasy. We are greasy, greasy, greasy. In a good way. Here we go. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap. Left, right, left, clap, slide, snap. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Two more times. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Now we're going to take it faster. Get your zen on. Om. Sometimes that helps. Um, it just does. I don't know why, but it helps. Okay. So sometimes you have to do this to remind, then you have to go, um, and then you have to go, <sighs> let's take a little faster. Shake out them shoulders and whatever it is and get all that stuff. And remember that you are a rhythm monster, whether you believe it or not, you can do this. Here we go. Left clap, left, say it out loud. You have to say that a lot. I need to see lips moving. It's easier to do it when you can do that. Here we go. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, clap, left. One, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap, left, right, left, clap, slap, uh oh, here we go. Left, clap, left, one, two, three, snap, left, right, left, clap, slide, snap, left, clap, left. Oh, we are so funky. Now, what you want to do is once you get this in your body, then you can take songs and stick them in there. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. All you have to do, get the rhythm in your body, and pretty soon you will find yourself doing this like you were born doing it. And I guarantee that you will annoy every person in your household because you'll be practicing.
best thing to do when I was teaching my little kids, I would say, your job is to go and teach somebody else what you just learned. You got to practice being an ancestor right from the jump. So that's what you can do. And if you've got grandkids or any kids that are around you, they will think that you are badass because you can do this. So practice so you can be real nonchalant. Of, yeah, I got this. I can eat a sandwich and do this. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead and make your bed. I got you. You know, get grandma a cup of tea. You will be so bad to the bone, they won't know what hit them. So just practice. You got this. Any, any questions? Okay, so people are practicing now as we speak. I love that. <laughs> Melanie, there was a question earlier in chat about um, what to do if you can't snap your fingers. What you do? Like I told my what kids, maybe it's just a matter of how it looks. It's, a, it's all, it's theater, baby. So if all you can do is this, that's okay. As long as it's in rhythm, it don't matter. It just how it just got to look cool, you know. That's half of it. So, yeah. So you know, as long as you got the attitude, like you know what, I'm so bad. You know, they're not even gonna notice because you'll be that funky. I love it. I just yeah. saw the comment I expected to see, which is one more time. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> oh, I, I have not been looking at the chat because I'm just dizzy doing my thing. One more time. Y'all ready to do it again? So you have to practice now. And and once you once you get it, you know, we that's right. Rana knows what I'm talking about here. You know, you send a little video or something with your funky selves. And you know what? Sometimes it really helps. Now, if you if sometimes it just helps for you to get your funk on. Sometimes it takes props. See how much funkier that looks? London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down each and every day. I don't know what that is. But sometimes you just, it's important it's important to have as much fun as you can in these crazy ass times. Now, Karen, that's what I'm talking about right there. It's that sort of thing. Sometimes you just have to have zaniness is absolutely crucial to our survival. Okay? Absolutely crucial. Let's try it again. Here we go. Left clap. Left, one, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, clap. Left, one, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Left, clap. Left, one, two, three, snap. Left, right, left. Clap, slide, snap. Excellent. You just never know. So, I mean, I do all different kinds of things, but I, I, I have to have an injection of joy around me. I just do. Alice, you got a question, hon? Alice, you're yes. Right? So the part that I'm really struggling with is that I truly can't tell left from right. Uh-huh. Well, and sometimes I'm just using the wrong hand. Well, you're just using, the, you know, as long as you stay in the rhythm, as long as you stay in the rhythm, you're, you're good. And the reason that, I, that I'm, I'm very, you know, when I do this in large groups of people, that we all start on the same hand because if you're standing next to somebody, you don't want to smack your neighbor. So that's that's generally why why that is, you know. And so I have all different kinds of things, but I, I wanted you to learn that just to, just to understand that you can learn it. Nice hat, Rada. And Lori, I love those. Uh, I love that hat that you have on there. Excellent. Any other questions? Where's, where's Sandy? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. Here I am. I will come right back up and join you because this has been exactly what I needed. Let me just find me in the... There I am. All right. Um, cool. This is exactly what I needed. Oh my gosh. I feel so just full of love and all the way from the tenderness of the swing low mm -hmm. to the joyfulness of this and the playfulness of with the with the glasses and the, and the hats and the rhythm and everything. So thank you for being exactly the full spectrum of love that I needed. I have to say, when we were singing Swing Low and leaving all the space, 
And then you had it at the end where it, it came in just the way it, it always used to or could. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, no, no. Like the space, so, so, so important. Mm -hmm. So thank you for opening that up mm -hmm. so deeply for all of us. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you know, I think it's it's funny. Sometimes, uh, you know, I bring it back at the end, especially if I'm doing it with groups of people, so to understand the connection between that and that whole tradition. Because in the in the African American tradition, a lot we call out what is lining out a song. So you sing it the way that people are most, and then you just, you know, you just. Uh, uh, we have this thing called, um, oh, what's the actual term for it? Um, long metered hymns mm. long metered hymns and what and you and you'll hear uh, and everybody you know at the service at the church will know exactly what to do and when you're a little kid you have no idea what they're saying but you're singing really loud mm. you know so you'll have a leader that will go guide me oh thy great jehovah children of this barren land and then everybody will go guide me oh thou great jehovah And it will go, and you know, so the whole, a song that has one verse can take 20 minutes. Mm. The whole idea of taking space, of really savoring each syllable, of really understanding what, what it is you're participating in. You know, um, I don't know if you ever heard my arrangement uh, with Mary Watkins of um, We Shall Overcome. It is really mm. different, mm. really different. When I was saying to Mary, I said to Mary, this is years ago, I said, Mary, I want to do We Shall Overcome. She said, We Shall Overcome. Everybody does this. I said, Mary, follow me. <sighs> I, I think I might have a recording. I'll send it to you. So you I can, would love to hear that. I'm yeah. sure. And it's just space, space. And a lot of times, you know, we sing songs that, um, that we really love, but we begin to sing them automatically without understanding and remembering what it is about that song that nourished and fed us. Mm -hmm. You know, I, so. I think absolutely. And, and that really ties into the space that I'm sort of in right here where I'm in New York with our friend. And uh, I feel like sometimes we just take life, just we just keep doing it because we're doing it. Mm -hmm. And stepping back and understanding time and sitting into the time mm -hmm. that really is. Um, that's a really wonderful lesson that I've been getting here today and then uh, here this week and here today with you and mm -hmm. how to make that into song and how to let song be the place to sit into it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what it's there for. I mean, you know, yeah. and that is the miracle of what it is that we, that we get to do and that we get to share with each other. And that is so important as each of you to understand that you, each of you, has a song that only you can write and that somebody needs that particular song. Everybody has one. Nod your head. Let me see it. Nod it. Because that is the truth. Somebody out there needs your particular song. And it don't have to be complicated. It don't have to rhyme. It just has to be the truth. Hmm? I'm seeing you. Right on. Yeah. Well, thank you so, so much Absolutely, for being you right and for coming and, and delivering joy uh, to everyone here, joining us here in Zoom and to me and to Pat, who, uh, I'm sorry, she didn't quite make it back in time, um, but we've got a lot of things we're attending to for our friend. But mm -hmm. uh, And thanks to folks who are watching us on Facebook. We are going to stop the live stream in a second uh, and you can come join us on Zoom if you would like to give some love to Melanie and love and thanks for all of who she is in the world and, and the kind of love and music she delivers to us. Yes, there. thanks to Moria for putting uh, some information in the chat there. You can make a donation today. Um, that will support uh, Melanie's work and you can do that to, through us and we will send it on to Melanie or you can do that directly to Melanie. And we all have things coming up. Melanie, you and we are doing a gig together the February 8th virtual fundraiser for Learning Courage. Uh, 
Yes, we are. So that's an incredible group that I'm just finding out about that is working to uh, end sexual abuse Mm -hmm. and sexual Mm -hmm. harassment and misconduct in schools, K through 12. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have to do this, but we have to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'll be I mean, giving it's a song about it. protecting our protecting our kids on every level, yeah. whatever we have to do to protect them. It's really yeah. Important. Do you have other events coming up that we should let um, you know about? Well, I have. You know, lots of things are getting canceled yet again. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I have things that are coming up, but they're a few months down the line. Okay. I'm supposed to do a couple of projects that were supposed to happen, but yeah. These are hard times for us musicians. I got to say. Yeah. So yeah. if you were, yeah, if you were thinking of supporting musicians, this is the time this to do it time. once again, once again. Yeah. And we're going to be singing this Friday, Pat and I, uh, as part of the community monthly sing for Carpe Diem. That nice. Is like an afternoon time. In the West Coast, I think, am I doing something for them? Are you doing that same one on Friday? Next Friday. This Friday. Okay, Coming Friday. Know. What is the, those words can be confusing among all sorts of people. This Friday, uh, next Friday, coming Friday. No, I'm doing a carpe diem thing. I'm, let's see, when is that? And yeah, Maria's is doing a lovely job of posting. Yes, me. I am. You're next, on next Sunday. Is it Sunday? Oh no, it's Friday. But maybe you're doing another one. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh, I am doing a thing with Alma Thanasanti. Is a a, a a a Buddhist teacher. We're doing it like an, an all day thing on Saturday, the 22nd. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll put something I, up on my Facebook page. Yeah. Put something on your Facebook. Cause I remember you're like, no, I'm telling you now it's not on my website. Just got to remember it now, but on your yeah. Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me thank our team before we say goodbye here. Thanks Ta-da! for our team. Rana Moria, Alice, Paula, Marcy. And uh, sometimes I forget, Toby, see that? Got them all. So thanks so much to our tech team for doing this wonderful day for us um, when Pat and I, or when I've been zooming in from afar. So we look forward to seeing you next week. Leela Grace will join us to teach a song. And the week after that, on a Sunday, we'll have a concert with Kate Munger and Leela nice. Grace. Yeah. Nice. So please come and join us up here if you would love to send some, uh, if you would like to send some love Melanie's way. And thanks to you all for joining us on Facebook. Hi.